Ain't nobody fresh as me, I'm just so fresh so clean. If you could not tell, I yet again did just get out of the shower. But today I am going to be reviewing Salem's Vengeance by Erin Galvin. If you watched my August wrap up and July to TBR video, you know that I won this off of Goodreads for an honest review and it's signed. I don't know if you can see this or if I'm cutting it out of the picture because I'm cheap and I don't have one where I don't have a camera that I can see what I'm shooting to you guys, but it is signed to me. Yes, let me just say that this cover is really cool and I really, really like it, but I was actually very surprised with this book. I thought I was not going to enjoy it as much as I did. I gave this book a 5 out of 5. It was, I love this book. I'm going to be, I'm going to be finishing this series as soon as they come out. Oh, I love this book. This book is about a girl named Sarah Kelly who loves dancing in the moonlight with her three friends. Now, this book takes place about 19 years-ish after the Salem Witch Trials. The story begins with all, all four of these girls sneaking out of their house and going to a clearing where they usually go dancing in the moonlight. But the by the time they get there, there are actually some other people there, some other strange people there, dancing around a fire. Of course, these girls do not think it through and they join the dancing and the festivities with the other people. But then, the leader of the group, um, a woman named Hectate, she asks everyone to partake in this strange powder. Two of the girls, two of the friends, they partake in this powder. But the main girl, Sarah Kelly, and one of the other friends, they run away as fast as they can. But Hectate doesn't forget about these two girls. Hectate wants Sarah and her family. I loved the pacing in this book. There weren't really any slow parts for me. I enjoyed the entire way through. But it did feel like the book took me a very long time to finish. Even though it's a fairly short book, it's actually a very short book, it felt like it took me forever to finish even though it wasn't a bad thing. I enjoyed every minute that I read it, but it just felt like I was reading it for a really long time. I love the story. It was very unique. I loved the writing style. I basically loved everything about this book. The only thing I can say that I did not enjoy so much was the romance in the book. To be honest, it felt a little rushed to me. They didn't really elaborate on anything. It was just kind of, she fell, she was attracted to the guy. She felt an attraction to him. It was more like she was pulled to him kind of thing. And I didn't really like how he went about the romance. That was the only thing that I did not enjoy about this book, but everything else, it was so amazing. I love this book. I did not have high expectations, but I was blown out of the water. I would definitely recommend this book to anybody who likes young adult, spooky books, Salem witch try anything really. Even if you aren't into any of that, read it anyways because it's really good. There are a few intense scenes to go along with the spooky feel of the book, but overall there's not too many of them so it's not like if you're if you don't like scary books, this you're still gonna like this book. It's not super scary, it's not super spooky, it's just it has a spooky feel to it, but there is a few intense scenes that you might be a little worried about, but not too worried about because it's young adult, so it's not like anything too bad. This is an interesting take on the Salem Witch Trials that I would never have thought of before. I've never really seen anything like this before, ever. There are two different writing styles, writing styles? I can't think of the word, but there's two different ones. There's Sarah Kelly's view and everything that's happened to her presently. There are also journal entries of Thomas Putnam and everything that happened back in the witch trials and his involvement in all of that. But yes, that is all I have to talk about this book. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. Five out of five. Just go read it. It was very good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video because I sure as hell love talking. See you next time.